February 24th, 941 AM, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. So, what do you think, Mr. Wright? I think the prosecution is as confused as we are. After all, the victim was oh, no, murdered. Oh, Lana. Oh. The victim was murdered in two different places at the same time. And a different suspect was arrested at each of the crime scenes. Lana! Good morning, Mr. Wright. I apologize for yesterday. I was... indisposed. I hope they didn't hold you too long for questioning. We just finished, actually. I'm used to all-nighters, though. So, how'd it go? It's as Mr. Wright suspects. The police are clueless. I figured as much, so I struck a plea bargain. A plea bargain? What do you mean by that? We agreed that if I told them the truth behind this simultaneous murder, they wouldn't seek capital punishment. That's what I mean, Emma. But, Lana, don't tell me you... Much to my regret, I'm as much in the dark about this as they are. Miss Skye. Hmm? We found trace evidence of a certain person in the police department's evidence room. They belong to Officer Jake Marshall. Uh, what kind of trace evidence? Bloodstained fingerprints, to be exact. Hmm. That's the trump card I have up my sleeve today. You do understand what this means, don't you? In order to defend my sister, you're going to accuse Mr. Marshall. We have to play the cards we're dealt. Isn't that right, Miss Guy? Hmm. Do what you have to do, Mr. Wright. Why don't you tell me what's going on? Why are all of you people useless? Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is. Huh. Huh? I'm afraid you'll have to clarify. It takes 30 minutes by car to reach the police department from the prosecutor's office. And the victim, Bruce Goodman, was slain at both places at the same time. But that's not physically possible, is it? What's more, I hear the victim from the evidence room just disappeared. Yes! And the body eventually reappeared in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. Wow, this is one messed up trial. One of my duties as prosecutor is to present impartial evidence. Today I will present evidence relating to the murder of the police department. In so doing, I believe the way in which we should proceed will reveal itself. Now that's what sets Mr. Edgeworth apart. He sounds so on top of things. Even though he doesn't know what's going on himself. And that's supposed to be an admirable trait? Very well, let the trial resume. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the police department? Mr. Edgeworth, you may call your first witness of the day to the stand. For its first witness, the prosecution calls the suspect of the murder that occurred at the police department. The suspect? You mean the so-called murderer? Oh boy. Things are getting wild from the get-go. Hmm, Meekins. Will the witness please state his name and occupation? Yes, sir! I'm Officer Mike Meekins, sir! My occupation is, uh, that would be murderer, sir! Uh. <laughs> ah, so you're telling us you're a professional killer? Sir, it was me, sir! I'm the one who did it! I'll never kill anyone again, sir! You gotta believe me, sir! Ah, uh, actually, that's what we'd like to hear from you is, Sir, uh, I'm what you call part of the younger generation, sir. A person whose action adults can't possibly comprehend. Please, Mr. Edgeworth, sir, help me, sir. Officer Meekins. Yes, sir. Wait, I want to check something. What? Profiles. How old is Meekins? 22? <laughs> He's two years younger than Edgeworth and Phoenix. Everybody else. Um, I remember when oh, I was yeah. 22. That was my ideal age. I always made my uh, main, main protagonists in whatever fantasy stories I'd write 22 because I figured 
22 is the perfect number. You're above being a teenager, but you're not over 25. It was just... Perfect. And it was, it was the same number twice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just had a nice ring to it. Yeah, it really did. So I was going to point out that Gumshoe and Lana are about the same age, so they might have actually been in the same class. Anyway, it was your, your report on the crime. Consider that in order. Yes, sir, as you wish. After all, I'm part of a generation that must be told what to do, sir. You can't fault him for a lack of enthusiasm. Crime report, sir. <laughs> Witness Although testimony. it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room on that day. I, spot I spotted a suspicious man at the security screen and rushed into the room. I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. I fought for my life, then I... Then I did it. After that, I passed out. Until another officer smacked me awake. Ah. So the victim, Detective Goodman, attacked you. Do unto others before they do unto you. That's the Meekins family motto, sir. I see. Then you fainted. And a colleague helped you regain cautiousness. Yes, sir. He knocked me upside the head, sir. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. What I need here is more info to work with. Oh, God. This voice is going to be rough. Hopefully, we don't have to talk to him too much. You don't need to repeat it for all of these, though. Yeah. Yeah, why was it not his... What was his normal duty? Mr. Meekins, you work in the General Affairs Department, do you not? Yes, sir. I'm in charge of hiring new recruits, sir. Yikes. Now, there's a scary thought. Evidence transfer was taking place on the day of the crime. It meant many officers were given special tasks not ordinarily performed. I was in charge of guarding the blue, blue badger, sir. What? The blue badger? Yes, sir, the lovely police mascot created by the chief of detectives, sir. I was to ensure it wasn't broken during the transferal process. That was my sole mission for the day, sir. Ow. Even less useful than gumshoe. Mm -hmm. I see. Sounds like a very, uh, important mission. Burn it, please. <laughs> After the award ceremony finished that day, there were so many people running around that I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. Oh, so that's why you went to the evidence room. Mm -hmm. Tell us what did you see when you got there. I spotted a suspicious... Okay. In order to enter the evidence room, you need an ID card, am I correct? Precisely, sir. I have one right here around my neck. Yeah, we want to know the number. So then, your ID number should be listed on here, right? So he's the 4989. There it is, I found it. This is the one right here. Would you please read us the number? Yes, sir. 4989596. That's my number, sir. I see. Mm -hmm. Huh? The number 4989596. Appears twice. It's shown as being used twice. Please explain, witness. It's no real mystery, sir. The first time is when I relocated the blue badger into the evidence room. And the second time is when I went to get him after everything settled down. Oh. Mm -hmm. I see. So it was during that second time when... Yes, sir. That's when I spotted the man on the security screen. Yeah. Are all the IDs, except for we still don't have the 77777. Yes. So you were attacked. Can you please tell us exactly what happened to you? It was a knife, sir. A knife! Detective Detective Goodman pulled a knife on you? What happened then? Well, with me charging in on him like that, he looked as surprised as I was. You aren't exactly the kind of person someone would want to run into. That's what I reacted, sir. I swung my arms like an octopus struggling to detain him. That's how I got this gash on my hand. Maybe you just kept your cool and your, your hand wouldn't be... When I saw the blood trickling down my arm, I panicked. I grabbed the man by his collar. Yeah, what did he do when he did it? What exactly do you mean when you say you did it? I know I don't look the type, but I'm really into kung fu films, sir. The man let his guard down for an instant, so I snatched his knife from him. Uh, uh, you took his knife. I spun him around and performed a disarming maneuver. I made sure to close my eyes like a man. 
I uh, see. He must have been desperate. The next thing I knew, his white coat was drenched in a sea of blood, and then... And then the next thing I knew... Yes? He punched me right in my face, sir! After that, I passed out until another officer smacked me awake. Oh, right. I already saw that. About what time did you regain consciousness? No offense, sir, but how am I supposed to know that? I was unconscious. Oh, right. According to the report from the officer that woke, me, woke up the witness, it was about 5.30. He hit me right in the head, too. I woke up crying tears of pain. That's nice. Uh, I mean, it's nice that you recovered, that is. When I came around, though, I made sure to finish my mission, sir. Your mission? Yes, sir, the blue badger, sir. I returned him to the evidence. There's a handprint on the blue badger. Ah, uh, there has to be. Well, there were several, but they were in paint. Right? Oh, mate. Uh, no, there's... There were two that were in paint. I remember white paint. Oh, uh, maybe? Unless one of them was no, just a darker a mark. No, one's a smear. Right smear. above his brow. Mm-hmm, that too. Well, we can all rest easy now. I believe we now have a fairly accurate picture of what happened. Yes, Your Honor. Only one thing remains unclear. Is the man this officer murdered really the victim? He's got a point. Um... Yes, Officer Meekins. With regards to that, sir. Take a look at this. He was sent to my jail cell. Chief Gant delivered it to me this morning, sir. Gant? The chief. Delivered it? What is that? Uh... A plastic box? <laughs> a VHS Yes, tape. sir, that's absolutely right, sir. A video tape, sir. It contains footage from the security camera in the evidence room. What? But I specifically asked if there was such a tape, and was told it had been mistakenly erased. That's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told, sir. It's the only thing I'm really good at. Looks like communication with the police department is as good as ever. Well then, let's have a look! Just show us the vid video of you murdering the victim. Oh, please stop using that word murder, sir. It scares me. A video of a real murder. Just what are we getting ourselves into? Uh, you gotta be kidding me. It always had those smear marks on it. So that's the glove that fell out. Yeah, so... And he had a baton, right? Man, these security cameras are straight up useless. It did look like he never gave him the opportunity to say is the ridiculous amount of blood entirely from Meekins' hand mm. with a bloody handprint never appeared no that was much older or mm. or it happened after That. Wait. Yeah. Because we didn't see anyone pass by the blue badger again. Uh, well, I believe we're all thinking the same thing. How can we deal with these unsettling feelings stirred within us? <laughs> what the hell was that wriggling piece of plywood? Sir, that's the pride and joy of the entire criminal affairs department, sir. It's the blue badger, sir. Why am I not surprised this isn't going as going smoothly? Yes, well, anyway. This tape seems proof that the witness did indeed encounter uh, someone in the evidence room and some sort of a uh, activity did take place. I didn't. Your Honor, instead of relying on clearly incompetent footage, or incomplete footage, the witness's testimony will suffice. Is that all right with you, Officer Meekins? 
Yes, sir, as you wish, sir. It's clear that the victim was still able to walk out. That's the thing. The mystery man. His face can't be clearly seen in the video, but there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do so. The locker he opened is unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. So it must be him. No one else would have been- could have unlocked it. What's this about a fingerprint? Each detective has been given a locker equipped with a fingerprint activated lock. These locks ensure that each locker can only be opened by the detective it belongs to. I never like those lock systems because it always seems like in crime movies someone finds a way to bypass it either it cuts with- Cuts a hand off. Huh? Cuts a hand off or a fix off or- Well, yeah. I, yeah, either they cut off something or I don't know if it's actually feasible, but they do that- Transfer thing business where, you... where they transfer it from yeah. something else. But yeah, the cutting off thing is gross. Ugh. Sort of like the people that what they keep an eyeball around for the eye yeah. scanners. Yep. Or they put a contact lens I know I played Katana in. Zero recently and you uh, cut off a lady's head and use it to open up one of those eyeball scanners, which is like... Uh, ah. Yeah, that was a dark game. I liked it though, but it was dark. Intriguing. That would mean the victim of the crime scene would have had to have been Detective Goodman. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. I don't know where this cross-examination will lead. But everything begins with contra contradictions. That's where I have to start. Cross-examination. The mystery man. His face can't be clearly... Okay. Tell me, were you able to get a good look at him? At the face of the man who attacked you with a knife? Sir, if you... Must label people as having seen or not seen the man's face. I believe I would be classified as the latter. The latter. But you were standing right in front of him, were you not? More to the point, you're the person who fought him, aren't you? Oh, yes, sir, but I didn't get a clear look at his face, sir. I'm not the kind of guy who looks directly at people when talking with them, you see. <laughs> yeah, that's a good trait for a police officer. Still, I'm sure that it was him. I bet my badge on it, sir. I don't want to check something. The tape? It just... In the... Mm hmm? That's the jacket, I think. Because the guy got a very bloody right shoulder. Yeah. And that seems to line up with it. And she's got the gloves on. She has the gloves and she has the jacket. Was she the one trying to steal the... stuff? Yeah, I think she slugged Meekins. Maybe? Because she's lacking the muffler, which would make sense. That's because it was shoved inside the car, exhaust pipe. We have that with other the dagger. Photograph? With the dagger. I'm really mad we don't have that other photograph of, of Goodman in the car. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, we, we've never had it as evidence, which is fine, but like, I want to look at it. But you don't know what you what you know that for sure. You never actually saw Detective Goodman's face. Well, I suppose you might say that. That is if you must leave. Okay, we've already read this. Oh, mm. you haven't seen, seen it. Why is everyone looking at me? Why well, the label your stairs is disturbing or Meekins? Ah! Hasn't been shown a questionable video at best. We're not the best mood best of moods. Now Please be more certain when you testify. Yes, sir! You claim the man who brandished the knife at you is Bruce Goodman. Tell us why you're positive it was him. Let's see. Open locker. Right, which would require the fingerprints. About these lockers, is there no other way to open them? No, sir! I tried all kinds of methods in the past! The only response to registered fingerprints, sir! I wonder what kind of methods he's tried. The man opened the locker's lock, which only responds to its registered fingerprints, and he must be the person the locker was assigned to. Exactly my point, sir, and this too. The locker he opened is unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. So it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. Oh, jeez, what am I doing? Yeah. 
Oh, oh. Oh, here, here you can use the player to watch as much as you'd like. A security video. Maybe I should take another look at the footage. Okay, so we've seen that. Seen that. Okay. How do you know that that information? I've heard rumors, sir, from people in the know, sir. People in the know. Uh, the workers in the department cafeteria, sir. They keep me informed. They also listen to my romantic troubles, sir. Uh, <laughs> the record. The open locker didn't indeed belong to Detective Goodman. I verified this information from a more reliable source. Ah. So the victim opened the locker with his own fingerprint. Okay. However, the most important detail is not shown in the video of the man's face. No, sir! If I may say something, sir! Please do, after all, you're the one being examined. I don't understand why the man's face is so important in this case. I mean, it was his hand that opened the fingerprint lock. And it was his hand that tried to thrust his knife into my body, sir! My unsettled state can, be, can testify enough to this, sir! Yes, you have a point. The footage doesn't lie. That is... Unless the defense can find a problem with it. Oh, sorry. I'm, you are actually I'm drifting off. Asleep. Okay, let's get to the end of this one. And then we'll pick this back up tomorrow night, probably. Yeah, because it's midnight. Yeah, we are getting tired. Mr. Wright, let's check the court record again. There are problems with the security video. Really wish I could zoom through this. We can't see if there's a bloody fingerprint on that. Right, because it keeps going back and forth, back and God forth, back it, and Nikos. forth. Also, wait a minute, that light was already on. Did you see? Oh, was it? Yeah. Play it again. You see there? You're right. Good spotting. Mm hmm That means it was already open, correct? Correct. But I suppose we can watch through the rest of it to see if there's something else that we I just have to wanted do. to check the, the frame of the person. Mm hmm. Great, so the light was on, which means that someone would have access to it. Yeah, you straight up see nothing. Right, you only see the. This camera was very ill placed. Yeah, you don't see the face because the flag is in the way. That has an earring. And yeah, Meekins didn't give them an opportunity to reveal their card. There was just a track! Yeah, and there's the blood on the shoulder. But how did they get around the camera? How did they get around the camera? Unless they crawled, which doesn't make any sense. Wait, um, can you watch that again? Was- look, Oh! Look, the, the cloth! It's whoever has access to that first evidence locker. Stash something in there. Mm-hmm. So multiple problems. Yep, definitely. Regarding the video contained on this tape, there's one thing in particular that seems rather strange. Strange? This contradiction leads to the possibility that... The man may not have been Detective Goodman. What? This video contains such a contradiction! That it does! Interesting. Your Honor, I have a proposal. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth! I propose we have the defense. Point to us this alleged contradiction in the video. He'd want me to point, point it out. He would want me to point it out. Mm -hmm. Very well. Proposal accepted. Let's further inspect this piece of evidence. I will now play the security tape. Mr. Wright, please show us the contradiction you speak of. Point out a problem in the video. This is the first time I've ever had to do that. You can do it, Mr. Wright. It's set up so that you can fast forward, rewind, or pause the video. Could I have had that earlier? <laughs> that way you wouldn't have to have listened to the nice. ding, 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 ding. Just take a good look and be sure to point out the right thing. Please don't play it too many times. I can't stand watching this video. <laughs> How did this guy ever become a police officer? 
Now then, Mr. Wright, please enlighten us. Where's the con- Well, that's fine. Okay, click on okay, the light. I want to rewind for a second. But yeah, see, there so, was no cloth. Top left. Dangling okay. out. Yeah, so that's already up. Yeah, no cloth there. And so something falls out. No cloth. No cloth. The person must have snuck around. And then there's the cloth. See? Yeah, so I think the cloth is important later. Right, right. It's important later. Right now we know that that's what's wrong. The light. The thing that's strange, strange about this video has got to be this. Officer Meekins. Sir, do you mean me, sir? As I understand it, the locker, locker apparatus works like this. Wait. Why? Why? Why is the music playing? Why is the blue badger? No. When you grab the handle, a sensor reacts to your fingerprint. If it's a match... The light turns on, and the lock is released. According to my very limited experience, that's the way I understand it, sir! If so, then something's seriously wrong with this picture. Uh. Yeah, I don't see somebody being able to hide behind the blue badger that well, because it's right up against the locker, I think. I want to know where not this that camera's actually there. situated, yeah. When the victim reaches for the handle to open the locker, let's rewind a little earlier. At least make it go faster! Yeah, Why is it in slow-mo? Or real-time, I suppose I should say. You could have just pointed out that the light was lit before the person even approached it. Here. Notice the light? What's this? It's already lit? Precisely my point, Your Honor. The locker was already open before the victim grabbed the handle. Okay, we're just gonna pause here and just just steep in this music for a bit. Wash away the blue magic. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> order! Order! What's the meaning of this? It's very simple, Your Honor. The locker wasn't locked on the day of the crime. But the locker locks are controlled by an electronic system. When a door is shut, a sensor is triggered. And the locker is automatically locked. Oh, I know! It must have broken down! Of course, I'm not an expert in this. It's not likely, Your Honor. The sensor would detect and report any malfunction. Oh, well, it just goes to show an officer should keep their mouth shut. So then, Mr. Wright, do you have an explanation? Me, Your Honor? Yes! Why wasn't the locker locked? Your Honor, uh... Yeah, well, you see, this isn't exactly my field. What do you think, Miss Scientific Investigator? Huh? Oh, um... Maybe something, like, jam the system sensor. Something jammed the sensor, the glove. Say... There's something else that seems out of place in this video. Yeah, I thought so too. There's got to be another clue somewhere in this footage. Oh, very well. Let's inspect the video once more. The locker was unlocked. Mr. Wright, please. And it's gone. No! All right, whatever. 